In this video, we will be installing Microsoft Fabric Capacity Metrics app, also known as the Metrics app. Uh, it is designed to monitor your fabric and Power BI premium capacities. Uh, the prerequisite is to have a capacity admin privilege. Uh, if you are a fabric uh, admin uh, that works as well but it's uh, elevated permissions so you might uh, not have it so a minimum of capacity admin is what you need so uh, let's go ahead and install so if you go to the portal and on the left uh, left side left side of the portal you will see these apps and you can go there and get apps and this is where you will find the fabric capacity metrics app you can install it from there or you can go to the appsource.microsoft.com and from there if you go to the popular solutions uh, power platform uh, you will see the app there as well so you can get it from there in our case we will be installing it from the fabric uh, portal or the power bi portal so we'll get the apps from here so click on this app it'll take a couple of seconds you can go ahead and read the overview uh, it says you need a minimum of capacity admin permissions to uh, monitor any capacity uh, that's okay for us uh, let's get it now uh, and get it now again install this power bi app install that's fine we will install it It shouldn't take long it will take a couple of uh, minutes max to do the installation and there you go it is ready and uh, click on that and it should take you to the app uh, the app is basically a power bi report and it has uh, you know lots of insights that you can get click on connect it requires you to provide the capacity id uh, the capacity that you want to monitor for this you will need the capacity id if you are a capacity admin you should be able to get it from your capacity uh, for my case i'll just go here uh, on the capacity settings and i can get it from the settings here on the right top or you can directly you know uh in the overview itself if you go back one step back and if you click on this actions you should get the id as well so let me copy this uh, let me paste it over here uh, utc offset uh, so depending on where you are located you will select that time zone for me uh, zero is fine uh, bst is currently same as gmt so it is utc so which is fine uh, so it should not take long uh, sign in and connect authentication method is oauth2 which is your intra id so we'll pick that account once done it should take a couple of minutes to load you the report as you can see it uh, pops up this message please wait for a minute and select a capacity to select a capacity uh, you will need to click on uh, there is a drop down but before doing that let's go back to our workspaces uh, because this creates a workspace called microsoft fabric capacity metrics uh, workspace and uh, in that workspace you have two items uh, one is the report and one other one is the semantic model so uh, it is popping me uh, this message to update the app you can update it from the this button top right everything looks all right i just need to upgrade it or update it and it should do it in a couple of seconds that is done let's head back to our app Let's close this and the message warning message is gone uh, from here you manage the access to this workspace so you can assign people to access this workspace and uh, individual item you can go ahead and have a look the the semantic uh, model and the power bi uh, report 
So if you go and check the semantic model settings, it was uh, refreshed once when we created it. You can see the connection settings. It is connected to the capacity metric CES, uh, which is again a internal to how this uh, this uh, app works. You can uh, have refresh schedules as uh, as per your needs. So you can do that. You can add more times, uh, you know, uh, refresh schedules in. For my case, I would just have like every four hour. So whenever I see the app, I should be able to see at least like anything from last four hours, you know, at least. So yeah, you can go ahead and do that. All is well. Now let's go back to our report and have a look that's your fabric capacity report if i click on it it should take me to this page that we saw earlier now you need to select a capacity that you are uh, admin of so i will do this drop down and i can see my capacity let me select that once selected it should uh, start pulling the data and uh, populate the metrics app as you can see now you have some insights already available from our uh, fabric capacity uh, the trial capacity the capacity that we have this is compute related so you will see all the cus and there is another one for storage so if you click on storage it will show you uh, the overall uh, storage uh, being utilized You can see there are three workspaces that's currently holding 0 0.16 uh, GB worth of data. And yeah, you can further analyze this, these reports uh, for your scenarios. And on this report, you can also see the workspace that's actually, you know, uh, holding most of the data. There's another uh, tab for the Spark cluster. In our case, there is not, not a lot going on, so there's nothing here. So yeah, uh, in depth, uh, you know, uh, uh, we'll not be going in depth in this report of what it does and what it doesn't. And uh, in this video, we just wanted to see how you actually install it. And uh, we have done this and you can now share this report with anyone, you know, you want to share it with. And it would work as anything just like any other uh, report. And you'll be able to uh, filter it uh, or anything that you want and you should be able to share it with uh, your IT team or your operations uh, analyst or anyone so yeah that's that's the report and the, that's the fabric capacity metrics report or the app and it is very useful in monitoring your overall usage uh, and to see what's going on uh, what is your peak hours when when you have your peak load and all of those uh, things can be monitored from here and that that that's all for today i think uh... thanks for watching and keep supporting